This design program is used to give you a visual model of a storage building or single wide garage that you might be thinking of. It makes the ordering process more seamless as you can move the elements around to your liking in the comfort of your home in preparation for getting an estimate. There's no cost to using the program or getting an estimate. Send the email to the Hillview Mini Barn office, receive a quote, and when you're ready, place your order. Let's go over the steps to using the program. All right, first of all, go directly to the design link, or if you want instructions, click the video instruction link. On the right, you'll see the main menu with the choices for style, size, doors and windows, colors, interior, and a summary of the building currently designed. At the bottom, you have a few options. First, click on the Style tab to see the basic styles of buildings offered. Currently, there are three styles of storage buildings and two styles of single-wide garages. Within the main styles, there are sub-styles that come with their own features. At any time, you can click the Shed Details tab at the bottom right to see the detailed features for a particular building. View your building from different angles by clicking and dragging with your mouse or using the view options at the bottom of the page. You can also scroll to zoom in and out. I'm gonna start by designing a 10 by 16 A-frame plus with a couple of door and window changes from the standard building. First, choose the A-frame styles tab, then go down to the sub-style and choose A-frame plus shed. I'm gonna leave the standard siding, window trim, base, and additional options as is, but I'd like a metal roof, so I'm clicking on that button. Next, go to the Size tab and choose 10 by 16 from the dropdown. I'd like larger windows with window boxes, so I click on the window to see the window options. In this case, I'm going with a 30 by 36 window and 36 inch window box. Turn the building and make sure the other windows are changed also. I'd like to move these windows a little closer to the front of the building, about four feet from the corner, so I click on it and drag and watch the measurement tool to make sure I get the same measurement on each side. Hey, that's already looking pretty good. Now I'd like the fiberglass doors rather than the standard wood double door, so I need to repeat the same process with the door. Click on the door, change the option, and close. The last thing that I'd like is a small window on the back and a workbench and loft inside. I'll turn the building to the side that I want it on, click on the doors and windows tab, click on the window, and change the option. If at any point you decide you don't want an element, click on it to highlight and click remove at the bottom. The loft and workbench are under the flooring and interior tab. There are two text options, flooring and interior. I'll go to the interior and check off both of these because I don't want to change anything about the flooring. The workbench is a non-visual option, meaning when you click on it, it won't show up on your design. If you'd like a workbench placed anywhere except for the back wall, you'll need to tell the salesman that. Now I want to experiment with a few colors for my building. Click on the colors tab. Here there's door, siding, roof, and extra option choices. I think I'll go with a simple gray and white theme and a black roof. The last thing to do is review the shed details and submit it for a quote. You also have the choice for email link, which will send you a link that you can review at a later time and make changes. Submit for quote is the one I'm gonna use because I wanna send this to the salesman to get an estimate on the building. This will send the salesman a link with the details and images as well. Within a few days, you should receive a no obligation quote. At Hillview Mini Barns, we hope that you find this to be a useful tool for coming up with your own building design. If you have any questions, feel free to email hillviewminibarns at gmail.com.